Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to all of you. So, how are you doing today? Alright, so, oh, very good. Very good, so, yeah, we can extend our lecture today. Can? Alright. Okay, so, uh, let's proceed to our lecture today. So, we will have lecture one. <coughs> As I've promised to you, so we will learn uh, computer embedded system. Interesting topic, okay? Okay, what I am expecting all of you to learn today, we have three objectives. Uh, what is computer embedded system? Next, we go to the architecture and how it works. And then the third one is we go through the applications okay first uh, what is computer embedded system okay uh, computer embedded system is actually an integral component where it is a combination of hardware and software that is designated to perform a highly specific function okay it's very uh, in a text mode can okay so um what I can simplify is, example, we have uh, embedded system design for uh, ATM to withdraw the money, right? So it will be never the same as embedded system that design for washing machine. So it's very specific. Okay, that is uh, what is made by uh, computer embedded system, which is Combination of software and hardware and very specific function. Okay. Next, how it works. Okay, we see from the architecture of uh, the computer with the system. Okay, first we will have input device. An example here we have sensor. This is actually the input data from the user example we have ui user interface so this is the input uh, to the embedded system so this data will go to the processor so what is this processor do okay the processor will compute the input that received from the user and we have uh, several uh, components in this in this processor example we have ram random access uh, memory we have rom read only memory and uh, some other uh, circuit it's it's depending on uh, the application of the system depend on the design so when uh, the input uh, data was processed by the processor and then this input will uh, interact with the circuit uh, design for the output model okay and then uh, this um, output module will give output to the uh, system example we have display and then we have sound or example we have motor to move to move something the machine example okay uh, to have more clear um, view example we take uh, oven okay oven in kitchen so uh, the user want to set the temperature and then uh, she want to increase the temperature of the oven so uh, she will press the button uh, some button in the oven and then the sensor will sense the temperature of the oven and then uh, it sends uh, send uh, the data to the processor so the processor will compute the input by the user and then tell the output modules uh, we have circuit uh, another circuit to increase the temperature okay after increase the temperature uh, we have output modules to display the temperature the current temperature and then we have the sound says that Okay, uh, this is the temperature that we want. Okay. 
next we go to the uh, application of uh, embedded system okay before that do you have any question on the uh, meaning of the embedded system and the architecture okay as usual no question okay right so we move to the application of the embedded system okay so in embedded system it, it was actually very wide application and maybe sometimes we don't even realize that actually the device has the embedded system okay example we have in domestic appliance as i mentioned in the oven just now and then we have we have also for audio visual equipment no tv example and gaming console i know you know better than me <laughs> for gaming console okay and then uh, for telco equipment uh, medical device okay medical device example we have for, for ct scan mri defib so all the interaction from the user and it will uh, give feedback okay and for cars and vehicle we have abs anti-lock braking system example to avoid crash so uh, it also apply embedded system okay and then um, we have uh, motion sensors example to automatic uh, switch on and off the lamp so it applies motion sensors apply embedded system in the motion sensors and also in manufacturing equipment uh, yeah for sure uh, to control uh, the process in factory so it uses embedded system okay so uh, uh, we have covered all the objective that we want to achieve today okay again do you have any question okay still no <laughs> okay uh, no worries so if you have any question you can direct um, discuss with me we can meet after this okay all right so thank you to all of you all right see you in the next lecture okay assalamualaikum and bye